this video is going to be a listing video because, well, these are probably the best way to actually get me to list stuff is to make a video about it because then it, it definitely holds me accountable. And what I have planned to list today are this pile of beautiful vintage wool skirts. I uh, Some of these are from the disco closet. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it up above. And I know I said I was gonna do a try on haul, but um, yeah, I'm never gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> I might, uh, when they sell, show you the try on portion uh, like I did in one of my most recent What Sold videos. Uh, Cause I do, if I list these on Etsy or Poshmark, I do put up a video to show like how they wear if they fit me. And also some of these are not from the disco closet. Some of these are actually these beautiful Pendleton ones down here are from another estate sale that I never showed y'all a haul from. Look how pretty, these are Pendleton skirts and they're hundred percent wool and they're gorgeous. But yeah, so I have about uh, 12 vintage skirts that I'm going to get listed today. Y'all know how much I love listing bottoms, but these are wool skirts and they're beautiful. And I really get nervous when I hold on to wool for too long because I'm worried that maybe it'll get eaten before I get around to listing it. So I would definitely want to get these listed because now's the time to sell them and then also to get them uh, protected in plastic if I don't plan on wearing them. Some of these are a little bit too big for me. Uh, some of them I am going to wear until they sell. This is probably, probably can't see it very well, but this is my favorite skirt out of all of them. It's a vintage uh, Tally Ho skirt. So this is made in Great Britain and it's got these little leather bits here uh, that extend it. So this can go as small as a 26 inch waist and as large as a 28 inch waist. So I love this one. So this is definitely one I'm gonna wear until it sells. All right, so this skirt, when I went to go hang it up and take photos of it, it had some coffee stains, which were kind of hidden by this pattern. So all I've done is I've made a paste of baking soda and Dawn dish soap. Uh, with this, I am not going to use hydrogen peroxide, uh, mostly because of the fact that it will actually end up bleaching these spots, and I just really wanna get them out. So I'm just going to leave this on here for about 15 minutes. This is just me scratching it in there. And then I will rinse this off and then hang it outside to dry and they should be gone. Now wool is supposed to be dry clean only. See, dry clean only. However, this is, that's mostly because they, if people launder wool, they have a tendency to do it incorrectly because they're relying on the machine not to damage the items. You can hand wash wool in cold water as long as you hang it up to dry in a not hot space. So for example, if I wash this in cool water and it was 100 degrees outside and I hung it out to dry, it might shrink. <laughs> so considering it's only 40 degrees outside and I'm only doing a little bit of spa treatment, it should be fine, but yeah. Just let this sit and photograph something else. All right, so here's the skirt that I stain treated and it is all, it is mostly dry. There's still a wet spot right here, but I'm taking it inside so that way maybe it'll dry in a warmer area, but all of the stains are now gone. So I just gotta wait for this to finish drying and then I can list it. But yeah, that's how you stain treat wool. <laughs> also, unfortunately, the pretty Pendleton skirt had way too many holes and I started to darn them and then I started to darn the garment uh, verbally because I found so many holes I just gave up. So I'm just gonna donate this. Someone else can finish what I started as far as darning the holes if they wanna keep it. Which makes me sad because this was a plus size piece and I know some of you are going to scream at me in the comments <laughs> saying that I already started the work. Why wouldn't you just list it with the flaws? I already have enough flaws in my life. <laughs> I just, it didn't cost me that much. It cost me like $2. Someone else can uh, love it and I can just not deal with listing it. I have a bunch of other skirts that I need to list and I don't wanna spend any more time on this piece. Now say for example, it's just one hole, like this was a small moth hole. I will darn it and it will be fine, but 
that one was a, the Pendleton piece was approaching like 15 holes when I actually like sat and really looked at it after I found those first two that I darned and I was like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> this isn't happening. But as I've, as I've mentioned on this channel before, I, I, I like being the in-between person for homes, for clothes and stuff. Like that's how I view myself. So if it's something that I can fix in a relatively quick amount of time, I will take the five minutes to fix this um, to make sure that it goes off into a new home instead of going into a landfill somewhere. And I'm perfectly happy to do that. Not everybody has the skills or the knowledge to sew or darn clothing and definitely not everybody has the desire to do so, but I do. So uh, I, I have fixed this and now it's this turns to get photographed. Of course, I always disclose everything. It's like this, this item has been mended slash darned because even now modernly most people don't know that that kind of repair is called darning they 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 don't know the terminology at all because that's how far removed we are with fast fashion these days uh that repairing clothes is not something that people even think to do or even know the verbiage anymore for it because you know you could go to forever 21 and buy a new tank top for three dollars <laughs> so why would someone spend three dollars for a roll of thread when they can just go get a whole new shirt for three dollars so yeah okay i got to the last skirt and i found another stain so i'm going to show you from beginning to end that stain treatment i do does work since i only for the last skirt I, gained, I showed you the pace, but I didn't show you the stain, so you don't really know how well it works out. Uh, please excuse the dripping. Again, I do not have running water in my house because I have a leak, and I have to keep the water off or it just leaks more. I don't know how. I have Quest piping. Google Quest piping, and you will understand where I just keep the water cut off, and I'm not doing anything else until the sink gets installed, so. Here is a, another beautiful wool skirt with the tiniest of stain. This is actually a stain, it is not a cigarette burn. Uh, I was a little worried when I looked at it at first, but feeling it, it is just a stain. So I'm going to put baking soda on top of it first, which I'll show you here in just a sec. My apologies, this is a gross amount of baking soda. Uh, I am towards the end of my little Trader Joe's container here. So it just kind of dumped out, but it's fine. More is more, right? And then I'll put the Dawn dish soap over top. Just do, 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 do. And the blue, use the blue one. Don't use any other kind besides the blue one if you decide to use this method. And then I just take my finger and I rub it in. And then I have nails, so if you don't have nails, you might need a little toothbrush that is used and old and you don't want to use it in your face anymore or a scrub brush or something to kind of like work this into the fibers. And then you just let this sit for 15 minutes after you've rubbed it in and then you rinse it. So I'm sure as you can tell from my face, I'm tired. My finger is so covered in baking soda. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to just soak that one, rinse it off and then like the other one wait till it dries and then we will pick this back up tomorrow where I could actually list everything. I have gotten everything photographed except for the two that had stains that I needed to treat um, but I don't want to finish this video until I actually have everything listed. So I did list one thing today but that's it. Uh, so we're going to through the magic of editing go on to the next day. All right, so it is the next day and I'm at the boys' house. I'm going to start listing the skirts. I still have to go back to my house to take pictures of the last two. You can tell I'm at the boys' house because the dog won't stop chewing on her bone. But let me show you where I'm starting my listings at. All right, so we're at 471 for my start. And uh, let's go. I mean, how can I be mad at this cute face? Look at this cute face. 
Yeah. I'm gonna go go go. Can you get down so I can peek listing, please? So out of all the skirts, this is the only one that really fits me, and uh, it's the one I like the most. So I'm going to list it higher than the other skirts. I won't feel bad uh, getting rid of it and having it move on to a new home if I get a decent amount of money for it. But until then, it's mine. It's mine. All right. All 10 of the ones that I've actually photographed are now listed. I'm so close to my 500 goal. I am so happy. Realistically, I am probably not going to go home today and photograph and get those other two skirts listed because it's Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna go spend some time with my family and relax and just enjoy the holiday. So if you are American and you're watching this, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving as well. And uh, also, if you decide to do any Black Friday or Cyber Monday shopping on Amazon, I'm going to put a link in the description down below or in a pinned comment. Uh, if you need to buy anything off of Amazon, whether it's reseller related or not, uh, maybe use that link to get you to Amazon. Or if you have another YouTuber that you like more or want to support more, uh, considering using their Amazon affiliate links to do your holiday shopping. Really, Eileen, uh, to help support your favorite creator. Doesn't have to be me, but just, just a reminder. I hope you all have a wonderful Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving if you're here in the States, and I will see you all in the next video. Eileen, seriously. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hmm? Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta do all the chews and be all the cutes? Well, I'm doing stuff. Adorable.